can you create an AKS cluster? And what you will see is like now this GitHub Copilot will actually help us create an AKS cluster. It will actually prompt and once you click this button. Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Open at Microsoft. In today's episodes, we are going to talk about GitHub Copilot extension integration with AKS VS Code. And for that, we are joined by Joy. Hi, Joy. Welcome. Hi, Tats. Thanks for having me here. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself a bit. Uh, I am Joy Brodo Balaji. I am an engineering manager for cloud native experiences. And I'm here to uh, showcase some of the work that we did to integrate AKS VS Code uh, features with GitHub Copilot for Azure. That's super exciting. I'm really looking forward for these features. So what is it? Let's uh, go for the demo. Cool. So if you let's start with the demo. Uh, in October, during the GitHub Universe, we released uh, GitHub Copilot for Azure. And you can download the extension from uh, the marketplace. Uh, the extension after installation would look like this. Uh, and you will have a new option called at Azure on the GitHub Copilot. Now, before I start, I want to set some context. Uh, if you see my VS Code, what I've done is uh, I have actually uh, cloned a AKS eStore demo uh, from the Azure sample apps. And we'll post the link in our description uh, later. Uh, on the video and uh, and and the goal of today's session is basically we will create an AKS cluster. We will actually deploy this application uh, and we will actually diagnose the uh, the application all being at uh, on the VS Code. Shall we start that? Absolutely, that sounds really exciting. Let's do it. Awesome. Let's uh, ask a question. Can you? create an AKS cluster. And what you will see is like now this GitHub Copilot will actually help us create an AKS cluster. It will actually prompt and once you click this button, uh, it will actually ask you to select a VS Code subscription and will launch a cube uh, sorry, uh, create AKS cluster panel for you. And if you see here, you don't have to actually find where this panel exists. It actually finds this discoverability really easy for you. And uh, you can actually fill in all the details here. Uh, you know, I can just say demo cluster and it actually has all the validation. So you will not run into any issues and things like that. And then you can hit create. Uh, for interest of time, what I have done is I have already created a, a cluster for, uh, for us. Uh, and you can see like once the AKS cluster is created, you will see that like the cluster is, uh, the successful message is shown here. And uh, once you click on here, it will actually show the AKS cluster on Azure portal. But today's goal is to just stay here and do all the work. Uh, so let's try and do, and let's take it to the next step where we will go and deploy this application to this AKS cluster. So what I would do is I would say, hey, can you, deploy my application to AKS cluster. And when, uh, again, you will see, uh, I will deploy it for you. Uh, let me just say, uh, can you deploy my manifest, sorry, to AKS? And what I really like about this specific uh, aspect is that it is marrying two extensions via a natural language chat using Azure. So this yeah. is super helpful for any of the DevOps engineer. Yep. And if you see now, like the uh, the GitHub Copilot uh, for Azure has identified that hey, yes, there are some, these these are the steps that you can use to deploy your application, and it will actually guide you and help you to do that. So let's let's do that. Like when I say. Uh, get started. It will actually open and show all the manifests available in your workspace. It will just like you can do. Uh, you can look for it. And for this demo, we will use the quick start one. You click on this quick start YAML, 
and you know because you know uh, we actually maintain a recently used cluster uh, you can actually click on this i will use this cluster to deploy this application and you can see it'll actually make a confirmation because like are you sure that you want to deploy it and we'll say yes and you can see uh, it will well, for authentication maybe the token got uh, expired and you can see like the application got deployed again now i can go That's to the your portal and check this uh, application get has been deployed but today's goal is to be in this vs code and try everything out in this scope so let's try it like can you get me all the pods uh, for my aks cluster and what you'll see is this will do is it will actually generate uh, the uh, kubectl command for you and not only that, it will actually give you an option to run it. Now, this is, again, an integration point with AKS VS Code extension. Uh, you, when you click on it, you choose the cluster that you want to run it against. And then when you hit, it runs. And you list all the, all the pods that, that are available in this. But of course, this is a simple command. Anybody can actually remember it, type it, run it. But what if I want to run uh, a command uh, or a query which is complicated, which is not trivial to form. So let's try one of those. Can you get me all the services? Because you deployed some services in this uh, store demo, uh, which has uh, external IPs exposed. And list the IPs too. Uh, so let's see if it can generate this non-trivial query and give me the IP address where this application got hosted. And uh, you can see it builds a really, really non-trivial query. Um, I would not, not like to write it myself. And thanks to AI, it is actually helping me generate this. So let's go and try to run this. And hopefully, it will show us service and you can see uh, there are two things which got deployed and because this is an e-store demo uh, it has an ip address which got exposed now let's try and see if our application is actually available and i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna paste this and it is not reaching as usual uh, it's because of I have not posted it on an HTTPS, and there you go. Wow. Everything is deployed. That's amazing. That's amazing. From nothing to the deployed application in about five minutes, it's a magic. And what I really enjoy watching this was for certain users who are previously using these features in AKS extension, this is now so well integrated with GitHub Copilot that it's organic. It, the flow is just very end-to-end. -end. This is amazing. And uh, I'm guessing there will be some future developments coming around this. Yes, yes, definitely. We are actually working uh, to get more uh, functionality added to this. Like we are trying to bring in some troubleshooting and diagnosing uh, capabilities. Uh, we are also thinking about adding some quick actions where you can actually uh, manage some quick actions with your AKS cluster, uh, all from VS Code. You don't have to leave this uh, environment and, and go to portal or CLI to run those. Um, yeah, and uh, we would definitely love to hear from you folks. Uh, you please use the GitHub uh, repos uh, issues and feature request uh, features uh, where you know we are actively monitoring those. Uh, if you want us to build something, if you want uh, some of the features to uh, be uh, available for you, uh, please, please do add uh, and share it. Yeah. yeah. This is amazing. And not to mention, all this is open source as well. So people can go and look for the repos around yep. this. And the call for action, I would say, is any existing user or users who want to try out, they should totally try this out. This is such a great feature. And it really eases out the barrier to entry for if somebody is new by a natural language. Um, this is amazing. I really appreciate Joy. Thank you so Thank much. You.